I represent the Lord Jesus Christ and my legacy in Christ is very extremely important to me and when I say legacy I mean after I'm gone when I'm gone be with the Lord I'm not here no more what did I leave behind what was my legacy was my legacy Christian was it legitimate Christianity was it real real deal you know or was it fake was it false was it hypocritical was it false convert was it the prosperity gospel or was it real when I stand before the Lord and the Lord says well done good and faithful servant that is the legacy that I want to leave here on the earth and in heaven as an ambassador of Christ when I'm standing before the Lord and he's talking to me and he's telling me I sent you here I sent you down to earth for this reason and you did it and you did it well I don't want to be standing before the Lord and he says I sent you here to do this to proclaim my name and to tell the truth and to set the captives free and to teach the women how they're supposed to be and you did none of that I sent you there to be a help mate help meet for your husband I sent you there to be a mother for the children that I needed you to raise to teach my ways to raise up this godly generation a godly offspring that I needed you to do because I have a great work to do in the earth and you didn't do it that is not what I want to leave behind I want to leave behind a great legacy in Christ that when I came here that I did what I was supposed to do what the Lord sent me here to do that when I came here I took it very seriously my job my mission just like a good soldier of the Lord because that's what I am I'm a first I'm a soldier of the Lord when I was born here into this world I was not born a wife or a mother but it was already written the Lord knew that he was going to make me a wife one day he was going to make me a mother one day and so everything that I went through was shaping me to be who I am right now but first First, I am his. First, I am I'm a Christian first. I'm a woman, woman of God first. I'm an ambassador of Jesus Christ first. I am a soldier of the Most High. I'm a servant of the living God. And so my loyalty, my mission is to him first. And that comes what comes along with that is everything that I'm doing right now, being a wife and a mother. And so I have to be successful in being a wife. I have to be successful in being a mother because that is what he called me to do. Prior to being a wife and a mother, I had 35, 34 years, 34 years of doing what I wanted to do. And in those 34 years, only three of those years I spent being single doing what the Lord called me to do. Only three years. Could have been longer. I could have been saved a whole lot sooner. But I wanted to play. I wanted to, you know, I was living in darkness, playing games, calling myself a Christian and just being being lukewarm. You know, being lukewarm, playing games with the Lord. And I didn't get serious about it until I was 30 and got saved at 31. <clears throat> but I'm speaking up because I have to, because the Lord has been telling me to do this for years. And I have recorded several videos and several audio um, recordings, but I haven't played it for anyone. I haven't shared it for anyone. I literally record it, save it to my phone, save it to my computer, save it to my cloud account, and that's it. Nobody hears it. Nobody. And so that that is over because my legacy in Christ is more important than whatever else I got going on that I think is so important, which a lot of times is just, you know, me being busy um taking care of my children, me being busy um doing you know working on my online businesses and stuff like that 
And those things are important because, you know, that helps out with my household. And of course, my children are very, very, very important because this is why I'm here, you know. Um, but I have to make time to to share the things that the Lord has put on my heart. And not just record it, but record it and upload it. So here we go. Why am I speaking up? Because the Lord wants me to.